video. Thank you so much for the break that you guys let me have on last Saturday. I didn't post a video last Saturday, if you weren't aware. I'm sure you guys were, because some people even got on me and on Instagram and was like, hey girl, no video. No ma'am, no video, I'm sorry. Today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I try to refrain from doing sit down talking videos because I feel like I have a deep monotone voice that either you can get sleepy or drift off when I'm talking. So I try to avoid doing those, but today I am going to do an April favorites video. I wanna to try to do a video like this uh, once a month of some of the things that basically I use a lot or I purchase and I absolutely love. And I wanna share with you guys cause maybe it can help resolve an issue that you might be having um, in your house or just in your life in general. And I just wanna share those things with you guys and hopefully be a resource of great items that can help solve all of our problems, okay? This video isn't of everything I purchased in April, but it's the things that I've been using the most and what I think you guys can really resonate with. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into these favorites. If you're interested in any of these items, definitely know that they're gonna be in one full blog post. The link to that blog post is going to be in the description below. It's gonna be the first link you're gonna be able to get to. So it's right there. Everything may not be in order as I'm talking about it, but they're all gonna be there. So if you don't get anything else from this video, honestly, if you get nothing else from this video, I hope you get this. Do not, do not flush your tampons down the toilet. Unless you're ready to throw your whole plumbing into the trash, honey, don't do it. Because I think on the back of the tampon boxes, it actually tells you to dispose them through the toilet. And I don't know why that's a thing. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because I think that that's what it does. I think the tampon company actually has that on their directions. And I've always wondered why do like plumbers and, and everything, why do they tell me not to flush stuff down the toilet? Do y'all know this is what you're supposed to do? Girl, until I bought a house. When I bought my house, I started having problems in my master bathroom. It was because I was flushing tampons down the toilet. Um, and it was just my master bathroom. It was like always getting clogged. And it wasn't until I got a plumber to come over and snake it. I know I could have snaked it myself, but it was still under warranty, so I don't have to. I got a plumber to come over and snake it. And as soon as he put the snake in there, he said something pushed down. He was like, do not flush your tampons down the toilet. And he said, this house is not built that way. So <laughs> you can, you definitely can't do it here. And I agree because I had so many problems with that toilet. What I did was look up disposable bags for tampons. And I found this company. It's called the Fab Little Bag. It's biodegradable tampon and pad disposable bag. So this is how it works. So it has like little, these green slips here. You put your fingers through there, you open the bag here, and you like can open it all the way through there. Put the tampon in here, close it, and then it has this sealable, like it has this thing where you can peel off and you can seal it closed. Y'all, this has saved my toilet. I promise you this has saved my toilet. If you don't find anything else that's valuable in this video, this, please listen. Do not flush your tampons down the toilet. Just use these little baggies here. You don't smell anything. It doesn't seep through. And I like the fact that it seals at the top. And the bag is kind of cute. Like it's, it, it even feels heavy duty. So this has saved my plumbing, honey. I was ready to throw the whole house away when I kept having to go to the guest bathroom because my master bathroom would not allow me to use it. It just like wouldn't flush without overflowing. These little baggies here will save your plumbing. Definitely use this to dispose of your tampons and pads. No more flushing, no more. The next thing I wanna talk about is something that I'm surprised that I'm actually using more of because I'm not an avid coffee drinker. I don't like drinking hot drinks unless it is a tea of some sorts. <laughs> coffee, I just, for some reason, whenever it's hot, it makes my teeth feel weird. It just feels like it's some kind of film over my teeth and I can't deal. But since I'm not able to just drop by somewhere and get a cold cough, I decided to start making my own. So what I have done is like add a little coffee in my cream. <laughs> I pretty much uh, have started making my own iced coffee at home. And with that, I'm using the Hamilton uh, Beach Two-Way Coffee Maker. Has really helped me. Uh, it's a great Mother's Day gift, by the way. It's, I think, I, it's, un it's under 100 or 
at 100 i don't remember but it's good for me i'm not into all the fancy coffees because like i said i'm not a big coffee drinker it has one side of the coffee maker with the pot you want to make you know coffee for multiple people and it has the one side for the single cups if you want to do just one single cup of coffee i think it's really cute i like it i use the single side all the time you know just just me i never make a full pot of coffee for myself because i'm definitely not going back for a second cup let alone barely even having the first <laughs> but when my mom and my sister are here or you know i have company that really enjoy coffee that pot side comes in handy and i don't have to buy a whole new appliance i just have it out there um i've been wanting to actually put it up because i'm like why do i have this on my countertop i don't really use it but I've been using it since quarantine. I've been needing a little splash of coffee. So yeah, I I really enjoy that purchase. And honestly, if your mother is a coffee drinker like mine, honey, but Inia has all of her coffee, she would love that too. So yes, uh, I would definitely get them that for Mother's Day. It's a nice little option from Walmart. Another thing that I have uh, been using a lot this month are these uh, glass minimalistic looking spray bottles that I purchased off of Amazon. Someone or actually quite a few of you guys gave me the quote unquote recipe of what I can do to get rid of these spiders that have been trying to come in here and live without paying a, a piece of the mortgage. So <laughs> I have actually done the recipe that you guys have suggested which was the water, liquid soap and uh, drops at least 10 drops of peppermint oil. So I've been using that, mixing it in these little bottles here. These bottles have come in handy. I think the pack that I purchased on Amazon was like two pack and then it also comes with a twist top if you don't want to use the spray top you want to use it as an actual bottle to store just any other kind of liquid that you may have around the house this has definitely helped with trying to keep the spiders out of my home honey because what i'm not about to do is allow them to feel peaceful in this house oh my god like yesterday a couple days ago y'all i killed one that was on the wall like most of the time when i kill them they're on the floor they're on the hardwood floor this one made up to the wall almost eye level almost died almost died almost died i can't deal with the spiders i can't <laughs> but this came in handy because right after that honey i got to spray in the mess out of the backyard and i need to do the front as well so yes that recipe or that concoction rather really came in handy because i have not gotten it sprayed again this quarter so until they can come out and spray again i'll be using these bad boys <laughs> Another great purchase that I tell you, I talk about all the time are these house shoes that I got from Walmart. Very affordable. They're actually not, I don't think they're wide width. No, they're not wide width, but I have wide feet and they fit my feet just fine. They're so comfortable y'all. And they got these like, you know, they got the grip at the bottom. So if you do need to step out, grab your newspaper, if they're still delivering newspaper in your subdivision, <laughs> if you want to step out and be that person, then you can do that. Uh, but I wear these all the time. I got several type of house shoes, but these are my faves because they're sturdy. They stay, uh, they look almost just like they did the day I bought them. So I really, really like them. They're suede and then they have the fur on the inside and this bottom is extremely cushiony. So for all of the weight that my feet have to carry, honey, these bad boys have definitely helped support it, making sure these heels don't crack. <laughs> and making sure that I keep it nice and comfy walking on these hardwood floors, okay? <laughs> One fashion-related uh, favorite that I have is the loungewear that I have been purchasing from Boohoo, y'all. Boohoo has had non-stop 60% off sales ever since we got in quarantine and we're going through a tough time right now. Retail therapy has been needed in my life, so that's exactly what I've been doing. I have been operating in some retail therapy, honey, and it has been helping. This top is actually from Boohoo as well. It's a part of their loungewear for plus size. 
got it in a size 18 because it is an oversized shirt. But yeah, I've gotten quite a bit of loungewear from over there, like loungewear sets and then just some other great buys from Boohoo. So yeah, I've done like, I think two Boohoo hauls since we've been in quarantine. Boohoo, honey, the link is gonna be in there. Like definitely try them out because 60% y'all on what's already considered cheap fashion, you can't beat it. You can't beat it for nothing. Oh, if you do decide to shop at Boohoo, size down, whatever it is. I am a 24 and I think for things to fit me in the way that I like, I would get a 22 or a 20. So yes, size down if you're able. So honey, we are all going through the drought of, of not being able to go to our beauticians, honey, and let them, you know, touch up our tresses in the past however long you've been quarantining for me it's been like a month and a half so here is what i feel is a great buy if you are doing your hair yourself this is a, a dryer hood cap so basically <laughs> it looks like a big contraption now I, I don't know if you guys have seen this before but i got this like I, well over five years ago from a beauty supply store and what you do is you hook your just regular nozzle blow dryer here you put this over the blow the edge of the blow dryer if you have the one with the nozzle put this over that turn it on and it becomes a hooded dryer for you you have this string here where you can adjust the um adjust it like your head or whatever the one i linked i like better than this one because this one is one very old um so it's open at the bottom like when i turn my heat on it's open and it kind of comes out of my face but the one i linked for you guys off of amazon which is by the way 18 bucks the best buy ever that one actually looks like it cups your head right here so it looks like it's more fitted around your hairline and it will keep the heat inside so i think y'all perfect for deep conditioning treatments you may be doing to yourself because you're not able to go to shawty down the street that does it for you um yes it will definitely help your whole situation in needing a hooded hair dryer because don't nobody likes those big hard contraptions that they have sitting on the counter and you get in under the counter you hopefully get a seat that's short enough and you, you have that thing raise up and then go over your head like that nobody wants that in their house like this is when you when you're done with it like you can literally ball this thing up and put it somewhere <laughs> like literally put the holes in this and like strap it up and then tie, tie it somewhere but like that big contraption you can't really store that too many places where it won't just be you know in the way that is also a great buy especially for us ladies that are trying to keep our uh, curls and our nice tresses good and moisturized with these deep conditioning treatments. Okay. Next item that I recently purchased and I cannot wait to work on is the photo gallery that I am doing in my living room. It's gonna be a family photo gallery. So excited. <laughs> and what I'm doing or what I have done is gone through all the family photos that I have in my phone and I'm going to change those photos to like the black and white older style memory type photos. So I'm doing that on my phone right now. I've done a few already and then I just need to go through and do the rest. I just purchased this eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by eight and a half inches by 11 inches frame from Michaels and yeah it has the matted edge as well and then you can remove that and this was on sale for nine dollars and sixty cents each I'm not sure if there's a whole lot out there cheaper um because I just I'm not a I, I don't like doing a whole lot of internet searching <laughs> but this was a good price for me I got 20 12 of these I got 12 of these for that one gallery wall and then i may do another gallery wall in my dining room but that's going to probably only be able to be seen when you're in the dining room or if you're in the kitchen so yeah i'm so excited for this project because it will finally get something on my walls y'all i have had nothing on my walls other than tvs by walls i mean my house walls <laughs> other than the tvs that i have mounted since the time I moved into the house. Outside of that, no decor has been on my walls and I am 
over it. I want some kind of decor on my wall. So this item is like one of my favorites as well because $9.60 to me isn't bad. Like if you're able to find something as sturdy as this in this size uh, for cheaper, girl, let us know, honey. Get, get in the comments and let us know because we need all of the tips right now. You hear me? What I have really been using a lot of while working from home is the poof, this white furry poof that I, I think it's what, how you pronounce it, poof? Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. It's the white furry poof that I have and I'll insert a picture for you guys to see. And it's like, basically like the little ottoman that I do not have when I'm in the office. So it helps me keep my feet elevated and it has helped along with the stress of not having to go into the office. It has helped keep my stress level and the fluids all running properly through my body. Like my feet have not really been swelling unless when I was on my period the other time. It swells like crazy when I'm on my cycle. Yeah, the little poof is so cute. It's from Walmart. Um, it's in their home decor section and I have that linked as well. It goes very well with my rug in there and with my chair so I that has really been a great favorite during this whole work from home situation because don't nobody want their legs just like dangling to the floor all the time we don't have time for that when we're at the house we have to feel comfortable like we're propped up working but not working yeah that is a, like another home decor favorite that I have been using <laughs> Last but not least, y'all, I have been playing this Hotel Empire Tycoon game all, not all day, a lot. I've played it a lot. I love this game. I don't know if you guys um, have played it or not, but it's just another favorite that I'm doing because it's like so cute. Like you can earn like little money and stuff. Like I've made $117,000 since I last logged on. It makes me feel real rich and I'm not there yet in life. <laughs> but it, it reminds me of The Sims. I don't know if you guys, some of you, a lot of you guys should be old enough to remember The Sims. It reminds me of The Sims, but like hotel fashion. So I've definitely been using and playing this game between what it is I'm doing throughout the day. Like, I've already got two hotels open. Oh, this one just changed to three stars, girl. Yes. Oh, I got a hotel and a resort, to be exact. A hotel and a resort, and I'm working on a third resort. F for me, not traveling as much as I have not done. Um, I really love travel stuff. So, hopefully after uh, Rona get her stuff together and gone by her business, I am able to start traveling more. Hopefully, I'm able to start making more travel content. Hopefully, ooh, that would be so fun to be able to do a travel, like, like trip with all of whoever wants to come. That would be so cool, right? Would y'all like, like that? Don't expect it this year because I'm not doing that. I'm just, you know, bringing it up. But like, yeah, that would be so cool. Like, uh, everybody have, you know, packages they can purchase and we all go to like Santorini or something. I don't know, that would be amazing. I really want to travel a lot more. So just, I think I'm. that's why I like this game so much because it's like I'm traveling through the people that are checking into my hotel. <laughs> but yeah, I love the game. Play it all the time. It's extremely addictive. You, after a while, you're gonna be like, can I really open a hotel? Like for real, for real, is this how I open a hotel? It gets your entrepreneurship juices flowing. So if you like that, I think you really love this game. So guys, I am not gonna waste your time any longer. That was it. Those are my top, I think, what, eight or nine uh, favorites that I have been constantly using this month. If you guys like this video, let me know if you want more favorites. I actually enjoy watching favorites video and never even thought to create some for my own channel. So let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff um, and I will be happy to make more. You hear me? Cause I love, love watching these kind of videos um, because I have problems all the time. And these videos help me get through it knowing what it is I can and cannot use. So yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe girl. If you have not subscribed to me, why are you playing games? Subscribe, you're gonna love me, okay? <laughs> yes, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm gonna have another video for you guys on Saturday. So, I will see you guys then. Bye.